Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we are gonna make a delicious recipe. We are gonna make southern chocolate brownies with pecans and toffee topping. Are you kidding me? Yum. So let's get started with the brownies. I'm gonna start with a stick and a half of butter and put that over here to melt. And then to that, I'm gonna let that get started. I'm going to add the chocolate. Now I am using a bittersweet 60% chocolate and frankly, I just bought what was on sale. So this is what I'm using. Two bars of this is eight ounces. And here it is, I chopped it up, putting that in. And you know, chocolate, you don't wanna get it too hot cause it'll burn easily. So we're gonna get this melting. And I'm gonna cook this in a 10 inch cast iron skillet that I have greased with butter. So while we wait for our chocolate to get going here. Oh my gosh, whoops. Getting it all over the place here. Grab a, we will get it melting. Oh my gosh, yum. Now, if you want to use a box brownie mix for the brownies, no problem, go for it. Um, it's just fine. But I am making the brownies from scratch because they are yummy and delicious from scratch. But frankly, if you have a box brownie mix that you love, just start with that. Cut out a step, make it easy. <laughs> so this is melting down. And you want to be real careful with chocolate because it, like I said, it can get burnt quickly. We don't want that. Oh my gosh. You know what I didn't grab out here is I always like to add a little bit, if I can reach it, I can. I always like to add just a pinch of instant coffee when I'm making a chocolate dessert because I think it just adds a little bit of extra zip. So I'm going to add about a Oh, a quarter of a teaspoon of instant espresso to my chocolate. And that's just a little, a little insider tip. So we are almost melted here. Just gonna keep stirring it so that it doesn't burn here. But I wanna make sure everything is melted and incorporated. And I think that is good. Okay. So now I'm going to pull this over here. I'm doing it in a pan like this so you guys can kind of see. So there we have our melted chocolate and butter. And to that, we are going to start with um, our sugars. And I have one cup of dark brown sugar. Put that in. And then I have a quarter cup of granulated white sugar and I'll stir that in. I'm going to use a whisk just to get it all incorporated. So if you ever wondered what was in a box brownie mix, now you know. <laughs> Here's all the pieces that go into it. You know when we had cookie stores in Washington DC, we made so many brownies and I just remember melting blocks and blocks of chocolate and butter to make brownies from scratch. <laughs> so this reminds me of that because I don't make them from scratch very often, but we are doing it that way today. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So we're gonna wait till our sugars dissolve a little bit here. And you can kind of tell, you'll see the sugar is melting in here pretty well. And I just want to make sure we don't have any lumps and that our sugars are fully dissolved. Okay, this looks good. So now I'm going to add our eggs one at a time. I have four eggs here. 
and I just cracked them so they would be go quicker. We're going to whisk these in one at a time. So they are fully incorporated. The batter's going to get real glossy here as we get our eggs in. Two. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> I think that's really two and a half. Let's get this in here. Go for number three here. Whoop. What is your favorite boxed brownie mix? There are some very good ones. I like that double chocolate Ghirardelli one. And of course, I always add a little salt, a little vanilla, and a little bit of the espresso powder, like I just added the instant espresso. Even if I'm making boxed brown, uh, brownies, I will have been known to add a handful of chocolate chips too. Okay, this is thickening up beautifully. Fourth egg. You can see the consistency of this is already getting some texture and stability. Oh, looks delicious. Smells great. You can smell a little bit of that espresso powder smell. Well, of course, and the chocolate, delish. Okay, so there we go. We have our four eggs nicely incorporated here. So now, and look, see how glossy? It gets real glossy. Yeah. So then we're gonna, next we're gonna do our flour. We have a cup of flour. Get that mixed in. And I'm gonna use some salt. Put some salt in there. And then while I'm stirring here, I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, or so. <laughs> I'll get this all mixed up. Make sure I got everything in here. Whoop. I pay attention to what I'm doing here. Getting it everywhere. Without getting it all over the counter. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna use this real quick here. I'm gonna use my spatula here and uh, get the rest of this flour off the sides and get it in. We don't want, uh oh, whoops. We don't want any lumps of flour in anyone's bite of these delicious brownies. So there we go, got that all incorporated. And then to this, I'm gonna add a cup of pecans now you can use, so we're making southern brownies here. I'm using pecans, but you could use walnuts if you want, um, if you prefer them. Um, or frankly, you could leave them out, but it's part of what makes this delicious because our toffee topping is also going to have pecans and it is going to be so delicious. So let me, this is all mixed and delicious chocolate goodness here. So let me get my prepared pan. We have our cast iron pan here and let's put our batter in, in it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now I did grease the cast iron pan with butter. So when we're done cooking this deliciousness, we can get it out. <laughs> That's always good, right? My pans, these are my favorite pans, but they're heavy.
Oh, yum. Look at that. Fits perfect in our 10 inch cast iron pan there. Okay, put this aside. So now I'm gonna put these in the oven at 325 and we're gonna make the topping. So let's put these in the oven. And while those are starting to bake, we are gonna make the toffee topping for this. So let's get started on this over here. And I'm gonna start with our butter and um, one stick of butter and one cup, hold on, put it over here, I have it right here. A stick of butter and a cup of dark brown sugar. So let's get started with the butter. And then, and our sugar. Get another spoon. Basically, we're making caramel here as that gets going and gets melted. And uh, then we are going to let that melt and come up to a boil for a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to put two tablespoons of corn syrup in there, which I just had it. Here we go. One. Two. Get all that corn syrup out of there. Okay. Let that start to bubble. A little tip you can do for your um, measuring spoons or your measuring cups when you're measuring something sticky like corn syrup you could spray them a little bit with some cooking spray that sometimes helps the sticky things come out a little smoother but I didn't do that today but that's a tip so let's see we're gonna let that go and it's going to um, come to a boil here in a minute Our butter is almost completely melted in here, foaming a little bit on the edges. And I want to let that come to a boil once I get everything, once the butter is completely melted, which it almost is. We're going to let it boil there just for a couple of minutes, come up to a boil. And then we have another, I'm putting a half a cup of pecans in the topping and I've got three quarters of a cup of half and half. You can use cream too, but I had half and half. So that's what I'm going to use and let that come up to a boil. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let that, um, it's bubbling away coming into a toffee stage. There was no directions in the, uh, in the recipe to come to a, use a candy thermometer, but I could have if it did. So I'm just going to follow the directions and we'll see how it comes out, but you know, it's going to be delicious. What's not delicious with brown sugar and butter. <laughs> Delish. So we have it all bubbling there and, uh, just show you what that looks like in our bubble stage. You can see in there, it's bubbling away. And it's gonna be yummy. What's your favorite kind of brownies? I saw this recipe and I thought, oh my goodness, we have got to try that one. 
something easy and quick and yummy that you can serve it as, a, as its own, as brownies. Or frankly, I think I would serve this uh, sliced with maybe a scoop of butter pecan ice cream on the side. Yum, how yummy is that? And great for a party because you can make this ahead. So you don't have to be rushing around in the kitchen making dessert. You just have to cut it up and serve it. So delicious and something different. Everybody always loves chocolate, right? Most pe pe uh, people do anyway. So I always like to serve something yummy and delicious and homemade when I'm having a, di a dinner party for dessert. So this is what we're making today for that reason. So now we are going to um, pour in our cream, half and half I'm using, and stir it in. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because we have bubbly, hot, hot sh uh, sugar here. But I'm going to slowly stream this half and half in. Oh my goodness, delicious. So basically, we just made caramel and it looks delicious. No lumps, which is awesome. So our half and half is all incorporated there. And now we are going to add, um, we have a little, I'm gonna put a little pinch of salt in here just a pinch and I'm going to I don't think it calls for vanilla but I'm going to put a pinch of vanilla in because I want because I want to and then I have a half a cup of pecans going in so we'll stir those in Okay, oh my goodness. This looks delicious. Let me show you. Let me show you here. We have this delicious, basically caramel, full of pecans in there. You can see in there. But it looks great. So while our brownies are baking, we are going to let this um, cool off and set up for about 20 min uh, minutes or so while the brownies are, ba are baking. But it's still needs to be pourable. So when our brownies come out, we're going to pour this caramel sauce on top. Ooh, delicious. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. The magic of TV and our brownies will be baked. So our brownies are cooked and ready to go. So let me get them out of the oven here and we will, Ooh, whoops. They're hot. <laughs> let me grab them. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful these turned out. Delish, huh? And then we're gonna take our topping. My goodness, our yummy toffee pecan topping and we're gonna pour it over the top. Oh my gosh, seriously, like yum. How does this look? So delicious. And spread that around. Look at that perfect fit in our pan. And how amazing does that look? I mean, seriously, delicious and yummy. So I'm going to let this set up for at least an hour. Um, if I was going to make this ahead for a dinner party, I could put it in the fridge overnight. But then before I served it, I'd probably warm it up a little bit in the oven just so it's all nice and gooey on the inside, the brownie just slightly because um, you still want to be able to cut through the toffee topping and not have it be all over the place. But then again, maybe you do want it all over the place because it's all delicious. So like I said, I would serve this 
um, cut a serving and put a little scoop of ice cream, butter pecan or um, vanilla, whatever is your favorite. And there you have it. Delicious, delicious brownies with a toffee pecan topping because who doesn't need another yummy recipe of chocolate in their repertoire? So thanks for watching. We love to see you here and you can get our free resources below. Um, click and follow. We'd love to see you here for our next fun recipe for a dinner party.